very proud of the um, players who were on the field tonight. They had a, um, a spirited, um, professional, uh, disciplined performance. I thought they did very well. Um, if you look at the stats after the game, it's pretty equal. I think we all saw the difference in the game was uh, a few moments of clarity and, and quality um, that the Gals got on the field. And um, we have players in those moments who aren't just ready yet, um, but have very bright futures. I think we, we also saw that. Um, yeah, it was the game. Um, the only difference tonight was just finishing our chances. I think we created plenty of chances and, and put them in, in difficult situations. So I'm very proud of the boys for um, going above and beyond and uh, almost uh, achieving the impossible. Um, but we just came up a bit short. Decisions um, we have. Um, we have a very congested schedule. It's an unprecedented schedule. It's the first time Leagues Cup is being attempted. So it crams everything on the front end of the season. Uh, and you know we're make, we make decisions um, for the good of the club. And it just unfortunately for us, uh, this game came very close to a, a very important um, couple of games. So um, and because of you know a few injuries here and there in our in our. Uh, with our first team players, um, it's just one of those things where you decide maybe not to miss something. And um, we chose to also, uh, not just thinking along those lines, but also rewarding the players who played unbelievably in Monterey. And they did again tonight. Again, they just a little, the task was a little too uh, too large for them to, uh, to get over or, or to do, but um, still very proud of the effort and uh, the group that's out there. Future belongs to them. Eric Duenas, who's been here um, with our inaugural academy team, uh, Nathan Ordez came on uh, as well very early and has been part of our academy for some years now. And both have stepped into the first team and are, and are putting in meaningful and good shifts. Um, you know, that speaks a lot about the work we're doing with our academy coaches, our director, and um, obviously scouts. And it's, it's a uh, top-down organization where we want our academy players to understand the way the first team plays, to watch our games, to learn from the pros, and, and get out in the field tonight playing against Galaxy's first team. Uh, it was a great experience for them, and we will cut this game uh, um, left and right, up and down for these for these players so they can learn from this experience, and, um, and they will improve. And we expect our second team to go on a winning streak now. And, uh, <laughs> For us, first, second, third keepers, I'm not really sure um, that makes sense um, in this organization. I think, you know, Eldon is, uh, has had a long, fabulous career. Um, he's experienced, uh, he still plays at a very high level, um, and I think his personality was perfect for these two games and for this group. Um, he is the older brother, maybe father for some of these guys. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Eldon. Um, and he did a great job of leading this group uh, through the first two rounds of this tournament. Um, and unfortunately, that's over, but um, you know, there is, will be more opportunities in the future for him to show what he can do. Pretty much full strength. Uh, we might be missing one player, but other than that, everybody will be back and healthy and ready to go, and we'll have enough training their legs to, uh, to help out and make a difference. Who are you going to miss? Uh, we don't know exactly yet. It's still uh, questionable. Um, We'll see you next week. <laughs> Thank you, Steve.